specific Jewish communities you have found? And you know what? Before you even answer that, have you heard about the Loanga Jews? The Rwanda Jews? Loanga. Loanga. Loanga? Yeah, no, Loanga. not specifically. No. Yeah, apparently um, there's a slave in, in U.S. Virgin Islands that mentions that there was Jews. Yeah, it's possible. It's possibly true. And um, they were traders. Right. They worked on the slave ships. But apparently people are now in the black Hebrews like community trying to latch on to them. Oh, there's a guy in the U.S. Virgin Islands that said there was Lawanga Jews and there was dark skin. It was black. So now they want to latch on to them. Oh, they was a part of the Congo. And I'm, bro, you don't know what I got to deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> Well, I, I think the best way to address that is, again, like I said before, because you know, I've also had that happen to me before where people have uh, present these uh, these snippets in time, if you will, uh, as if they're like knockout, home, you know, knockout punches or home runs, which, again, it's like, okay, if that's what you believe, that, that's perfectly fine. Um, I, you know, again, I, you know, like you said before, it's not impossible that Jews were in different regions. You know, I mean, we, you know, I, I know for a fact that there, you know there were Jews in different regions. Uh, the basic question boils down to, okay, well, just because Jews are in different regions doesn't mean that every single person descends from Jews who went to those regions. Um, I mean, one of the histories uh, that you made the main thing that's pretty common amongst uh, Jewish history in West Africa is pretty much a, a story of, a very simple story of, you know, some Jews happened to show up, they did a little bit of trade, maybe they married this person here, maybe they didn't marry them, they had some children with them, or they didn't have children with them, and then they left. And pretty much that's the end of the story for the most part. Um, you know, and I remember once talking to someone who was like, well, All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the honors to Apostle and Elders in New York, GMS. Citation to you around the world that's teaching the truth and your lives on land for it. Shout out to you, serious Aqua. My name is Maya Ka'ala, Button Gad, which you call Gold Branch, a great millstone. Like, make a disclaimer that we are not black Hebrew Israelites. All right, black is a color, not a nationality. The Israelites are the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and speckled birds scattered abroad. Speckled birds are Israelites who look like other nations. But their father's paternal blood and go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. We are not affiliated with any violent groups. We are not affiliated with any militant groups. We are not affiliated with any terrorist groups. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite groups. And uh, right here, man, you just see um, Garfield from the Dagger Squad and uh, Ehad Ever. All right. And just basically, guys, is just, <clears throat> as I said before, man. Uh, me and Elder, Elder Malcolm are uh, talking about a couple weeks, about last week or two weeks ago. Uh, hey, these people are being sent out by Esau to cause mass confusion and stuff. All right, because I had a run in with this guy he had ever, man, about a couple years ago. It was uh, Benjamin's sister, and, you know, brothers was getting on for married to Edomite, you know, and uh, brothers showing scripture. So, this is the thing they do. To Israelites or Hebrew Israelites, those in America, what they do, because he, um, this guy right here, he's originally from here, but he moved to Israel at some point. All right. But anyway, and he's proud too, man. All right. But uh, what he'll do to the brother, uh, brothers, show him uh, scriptures where you know, post Mary heathens, and he'll say, well, let's go into the Hebrew. You know, and this and this and that and that. You know, so he's along with Garfield, along with everybody else that come against the truth. Their job is to cause confusion among the Israelites and keep them in the dark. All right. And that's going, it's going to be a penalty, a, a, a severe penalty for these two that's going to come down from, from Yahweh. Um, Upon them, I read it right here. It says Zechariah thirteen verse three. It said, "And it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy, then his father's mother that began him shall say unto him, Thou shalt not live, for thou speakest lies in the name of Yahweh. And his father and his mother that began him shall thrust through him when he prophesies." <laughs> All right. Okay, it says, um, it should come past the day the prophets, uh, hold on, 
they had started from the wrong one, but uh, let me see. All right, it said, and we'll continue. It said, For it shall come to pass that day, the prophets shall be ashamed, every one of his vision, when he hath prophesied, neither shall they wear a, war, a rough garment to deceive. All right, let's see. Uh, but he shall say, I am no prophet, I am no husband, from the man taught me to keep cattle off my youth. In verse 6, and one shall say unto him, what, what are these wounds in thy hands? Then he should answer the, those of which I was wounded in the house of my friends. All right. So these guys going to get thrust through, man. The people that they lead are going to come looking for them. When um, Jacob trouble really kicks up, when it amps up, man. All right. And they go, like, hey, man, you you said this and that. You said you want to like So you saying, and Garfield, he definitely be saying that uh, a lot of prophecies with American destruction uh, is not going to come to pass. Right, he said the prophecies in Joel chapter three have is not haven't come to pass, man. All right, so it's gonna be a, a death penalty for that, man. It's gonna be a death penalty for that by the heavenly Father Yahweh. All right, including this guy right here in the glasses he have ever, man. All right, because you this video alone, man, it's like an hour fifty seven, forty four minutes. All right. But all the videos they from all people black, Africans, uh, you know, Cesar Chatra, you know. But anyway, they, you know, said, well, he just cut itself by saying, what? Well, they had babies. There's like some West Africa babies said in Numbers 118, you are to see your father. And guess what? Their children grow up and they're going to uh, have children, man. Their children going to have children, children, man, because that's the prophecies. Prophecy in uh, Hosea. Hold on. Um, let me see. Uh, Hosea chapter one. Uh, yeah, one verse uh, ten. Uh, so a lot of my page is torn. Uh, well, basically it's just, it says in Hosea one ten, uh, the children of Israel be able to send the sea, which cannot be measured, no number it shall come to. All right, so. That oh they just had babies they traded just left anything but hey but coin but some did settle that you know you could find out all throughout from Babylon to Timbuktu all right but anyway um, they left babies so Israel to be the sand the sea all right and so you know they do the usual um the usual uh hot potato hot the well I'm gonna something the way I gonna call it hot uh, tongue tongue potato <laughs> hot tongue, hot tongue potato in the mouth. Oh well, it, it's possible. It's possible it is. Oh well, a tiny fraction of your lights came into America. Oh, 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 some, oh, not all slaves that came to America were Israelites. Oh, there was Africa. This bunch of BS, man. All right. Like the scripture said, yeah, yo, yay be yay, let your nay be nay. All right. And on a higher level, really, the most I set the gas up to lead the two thirds to their destruction. All right, to get them tangled up in that. And uh, um, when I was looking at Elder Arylon, um video, he was saying, uh, it's, a, it's a, it's a, uh, where is that? It's a good one. Um, I got to finish looking at it. Uh, where is that? Uh, GMS doc info. Yeah, caught in the devil's web. And in there he said that basically when a spider, the reason why the spider don't get caught because he got that oil, man. That he go just walk on the web and not get caught in it. But, but the, the insects, whoever get caught in spider web, they don't have that oil, man. So the same thing, you know, was this truth, man. All right. <clears throat> the oil is, a, is the, 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 um, it's basically to understand these scriptures, man, and everybody don't got that oil. All right, particularly these two and the people that follow them. All right. All right. And like I said, man, the, the uh in uh, Matthew chapter uh, fifteen, the blind <laughs> the blind shall leave the blind, they shall fall in a ditch, man. 
All right, they fall in what? In their destruction. Their judgment, man. All right, these two, they're going to get a gruesome judgment, man. All right, but let me get into this uh, this history, man. All right, so uh, let me get this. Uh, all right. So right here, this is uh, Psalms. This scripture right here, Psalms 105. Hold on. Yeah. For your how was good, his mercy will last, and his truth endureth to all generations. All right. So the truth always going to endure to all generations, man. What is the truth that the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of? All right. Psalms 85 and 11. All right. It says, um, truth shall spring out of earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven, man. All right. So the truth going to come out regardless how much you, you try to hide it. All right. All right. So this is a book, um, The Jews of Spain and Portugal and the Inquisition by Frederick David Macata. And this is him right here, man. This book written in um, 1877. All right. All right. So uh, now let's just intro to these sound page 11 and just let you know what the, what the phenotype these people look like. All right. Because you got a lot of scoffers like to say, oh, they're a bunch of uh, so called white people. Uh, where well, they're not, all right. They're not Edomites, all right. And then some are light skinned because they forefathers uh, look like so called white because some of their forefathers had popped Edomite women. But these people over here, majority, they were dark, dark skinned, man, all right. Dark skinned, just like today's so called Negroes <laughs> because they're the ancestors of today's so called Negroes over here in America. All right, it says right here, page 11, because everybody knows that the first captives of war, prisoners of war. All right, so-called slaves came from Spain, Portugal, man. And those were the, were the Moriscos, and those were the um, the Moreno Jews, all right? Sephardi and, and um, Portuguese Jews, man. All right, it says right here, the Moorish Jews being at the time subject to Galilean persecution. So you're getting a clue what these people look like, Moorish. All right, when you say Moorish, Moor, they're what? Dark skin. All right. More means dark is, is used as dark skin. Somebody that's dark skin. All right. Now, you know, these these were people of color. All right. Then right here, it says page 32. It says right here, it says uh, the fate of the exiles will vary. All right. I mean, for Spain and Portugal, my family read up here. It says, uh, let's see. Uh, August, the Estes were completed and the doom was fulfilled by a strange coincidence. Uh, the 2nd of August, 1492, fell upon the knife. Uh, let's see, I think they said knife. Slough, uh, let me get this book. All right, page 32. Like I ain't took that picture well, so I thought. All right, knife ab, uh, 52, 52 a.m. This anniversary of the destruction of the first and the second temples and so many troubles to the house of Israel. All right. All right. It says right here. Uh, uh, it says um, bad never recurred before with such sad reality as on a present occasion. The number of Jews who does quit the Spain will never be asserted. Marino puts high as 800 thousand while some other historic estimate is as low as 160,000 so the taking of middle course you may probably assume be a little short of 400,000 it says right here the fate of the exiles vary in different lands where they sought refuge those who escaped to Morocco and Algeria found in hospitality in hospitality reception <laughs> all right to Morocco Algeria I said many were sold into slavery some starved to death, while others were ripped open in the hopes of finding gold pieces in their bodies. And a few preferred to return to Spain and receive baptisms, a fate which was forced on some others who were wrecked on the Spanish coast. Okay, it says right here, many were sold into slavery. What do you think they were selling to, man? Who you think was 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 buying them Esau, man? 
Esau were buying up these these uh these uh these Jews and these Moors exiles from Spain and take them over here. All right, and matter of fact, they own brethren, which is a curse, Deuteronomy 28 and 54. If you have an evil eye towards his brother, was so uh, uh sold them out. All right, and was setting up slave ports over here in the Americas. All right, and these were the the um Huguenots, the Huguenots, all right. And these were the Morisco Jews and Safari Jew, Portuguese Jews, man. There's betrayal to a brother. It says right here, and this is them they, when they came here to America, all right. It says, um, many of new Christians does free manage to communicate with their family, has collected such valuable or portable, which was spread from the wreck of the earthquake, saw refuge on the board of English and Dutch vessels in the harbor, meeting with hospital reception, securing the passage to more tolerant lands, the palace of Inquisition of Lisbon scene. Never had um, been built on the same scale before, and its its site is now occupied by the Great Theater in in the, in the Praza de Maria Singada company called um, Roquillo. It said numbers found their way to American colonies, where the Inquisition followed them, so they were forced to settle in various territories and islands acquired by the Dutch and English, where they openly resumed Judaism. Right, talking about the Law Statute Commandments. All right. Cause we don't deal with a religion called Judaism, all right? It said a vast number established themselves in Holland, where after his dearly brought independence, established a toleration, first berudged, has fully acquired them. Here they found synagogues, or first opened in Amsterdam in 1598. Here they too established charitable institutions, schools where they flourished during the 17th, 18th century, mark with degree, all right? And so that's our people, man. They came over here. And settled now. Uh, a good video is on uh, where that guy had uh, Karuma. All right, Karuma, what is that? Yeah, Karuma. All right, and he does. Uh, he does videos on this. The Morano Jews, the Huguenots, Huguenots. All right, you can see it right here. All right. And this one was a lot of you uh, so-called Negroes over here, you descendants of these people, man, that came over here. All right. These uh, immigrants, man. All right. So you descended of uh, the the uh, Morano Jews and Moors that was immigrants and also that was captives, man. All right. Now, uh, let's go to this right here. Now you're talking about the people from uh, West Africa. This is page 50 in the book, um, Slavery in America, by Dorothy Steiner, Carl J. Snyder says right here. It says, early, as early the slaveholders became experienced, they began to look for slaves from particular African tribes, many Israelite tribes. Coromantes, including the Fonte and Ashante, were said to be remarkable for the extraordinary strength and some symmetry, all right, that distinguished appearance and proud bearing, all right. They were blacker, I mean, they dark brown, taller and handsome than their fellow slaves, vigorous, muscular, and agile, intelligent, fierce, ruthless in war, uh, fanatically attached to the idea of liberty and strangers to fear, all right. So just like the uh, brother uh, Jer Jeremiah, man, and I count James Chicago, big old stock buck, <laughs> big old buck, man. All right. That was what they would call him in slavery day. You know, he's a Levite, so called Haitian. All right. So you got guys big and strong like him who Esau was looking for uh, with the Fonte and Ashante. And this is uh, the Khan group. But what did they but what was what was their customs? What what did they believe, man? All right, what what marked them as Israel? All right, what marked them to Israel? All right, for us to see, to identify that these are our ancestors, and their their and, and their that these are our ancestors, and their customs basically justify them as being Israel. Romans 8 verse 16 it said the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. 
All right, and this article right here about Rob, uh, uh, Rabbi Capers Fune. All right, he's a rabbi. All right, this is uh, Michelle Obama cousin. All right, he has a um, congregation in Chicago, uh, Beth, Beth Shalom. All right, now this we say, I was drawn to Judaism as a spiritual quest. All right, so we all know Judaism based on the laws, statutes, commandments, basically the ways of the nation of Israel. All right, because <clears throat> you know it's more it's more than three tribes, more than one three tribes. Benjamin, um, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. All right, was the Sunder Kingdom. All right, when you get Judaism means doctrine. All right, so it means doctrine of the Jews, the law, statute, commandments of the Jews. But like I said, it made no sense to use Judaism, right? Because there's twelve tribes. All right, what you gonna call the Gaditeism? The Gadites follow the law, statute, commandments. It made no sense, man. All right, but anyway, it says a lack of spiritual fulfillment I found in other faiths. I tried Islam for a while, but Judaism just seemed to fit my soul. Judaism is not just some folks are born into some, yes, but don't the Kabbalists tell us that each human is going to use their Kabbalah, man? Tell us each human has a spark, and those sparks go into the world. They go into any soul. <laughs> All right, You're going off, man. It said many people feel that when some people come to Jews and they were Jews already, they had a Jewish soul calling the Jews. Now this, now right there is is, is right, right? Because your spirit bear witness, man. All right, your spirit bear witness. All right, but the Kabbalah stuff, all that stuff is going off, man. All right, but uh, anyway, it says um. Uh, Jews left to said that many years I converted Jews and I became very present Jew. All right. I started digging. All right. This is page, this is page 38. The, um, uh, the color Jews. All right. I believe that's the name of the Busalak. I got this information a long time ago before they stopped, uh, uh, copy, paper copying in the library. Sorry. It says right here about uh, page 39. Um, to my family, here's my mother's my mother's mother's name before she was married to was Ross and Cohen. Her mother's name was Tamara Cohen. Her husband's name was Caesar Cohen. If there's connection, I can't prove that definitely, but the name suggests it says right here from the black Jew perspective. All right. I mean dark. I mean original Israelites, all right. Christianity was not the religion of choice of the great majority of African American I mean, tribe of Judah. All right, tell me that plantation Christianity. It said particularly those who ancestors had anything to do with the middle past, the slave trade. Christianity was a faith system where the very people who were enslaving you were now going to give you God. All right. I can go to the prophecy in Isaiah 14. All right. They say he wants to be like the most high. He sent that image of that false image of Caesar Borgia. All right. It says right here. Um it says, and for and so for black Jews that just seem an impossibility. The connection, or yeah, it's a possibility. Okay, everybody been brainwashed that that um, people in the world, like it said, Revelation twenty, um, he should be loose after a thousand years. You deceive the world. That's what Esau did, man. He ran around, told lies that he that they was the that the so called white people, the Edomites, were the children of of, uh, of the Most High, which is false. All right, it says the connection with Africa is that many of the African people who were transported from the Middle Passage to the Western Hemisphere were a Hebraic stock for the Ashante and the Igbo of West Africa who had distinct connections with Judaism in their past. All right, right, because these groups are Israelites. All right, and this is uh, page um, 114 from the book um, uh, Igbo Israel, all right, by Adoli Magalu. It says right here, it is believed that the Shante of modern Ghana, who had many Hebrew practices, some which shall be mentioned, are migrants from north into the rainforest belt of West Africa. Ashanti lyrics mean because of wars, us, 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 war, ante, because they worship the supreme god, Yame. It's not no, Yame, it's actually Yame. All right, but it's, you know, it's uh, Yahweh, similar to the Hebrew, Yahweh, but it's actually Yahweh. Do above a pathion into military gods. All right. Breast, breastplate. Um, 
Uh, breastplate of the hero Osani had the 12 parts worn like ancient Israel had priests over drinking a can to scripture bitters waters. Bloody sacrifices were sprinkled of blood on altars and doorposts, ceremonial absolution, purification, menstrual seclusions, uncleanness after childbirth, uh, uh, in the in the gami, floggings with 40, 40 less one strokes, the new moon festivals, and even the practice of human sacrifice found as ancient people practiced among the Egyptian Israelites in their apostate state. All right, and um. I don't know about the human sacrifice. I never seen that in Shanta Day, but if they are doing it. They, they was doing it in ancient Israel. They who worship in Baal, man, sacrifice children. But right here, you had those that they worshiped the Most High. They was they had, uh, those in Levite background. They had the breastplate. All right, uh, intermarrying gods. All right, so basically, uh, gods. Uh, they don't buy any intermarriage, right? But basically, on the right hand side, um, you know, the right hand side, it'll be uh, intermarriage. It'll be you have like the most high, he'll send, um, he'll send the angels, you know, he'll send the angels and stuff, all right? But the word to go is, is Yahweh, uh, is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai head of the angels, all right? And then you have, um, most high. Put the spirit on the prophecy on the earth, man. You know, brothers, that's how they're dividing the scriptures, right, man. You know, all right. But that's how that that goes, man. But uh, yeah, man. All right. So right there, man. Uh, then you go right here. Um, right here you go. Uh, page ninety four. Now look at this. It says the evil elder for purpose of securing from any spirit of death. Will kill a fowl, means chicken, and spill the blood in a straight line across the entrance to the household compiled on homestead. Ama. He prayed to God protection and the, and the spirits of his departed ancestors. All right, that's just going off. You're not supposed to do that. All right, but where did he get that from? If they compare it to this right here, uh, let me see. Where is it? Yep, it's the same book. Uh, matter of fact, this is uh, 109 of the same book. All right, let me see. Um, right here it said Jews of Morocco engaged. I'm reading at the bottom. Jews of Morocco engaged religious practices such as professional whaling, whaling, women for professional whaling, women for the dead. Placing water in containers on tombs, slaughtering rooster at the door of the house where two men died in the same year. All right, what is that? All right, go there, continue. Hold on. Uh, to appropriate the angel death, superstition, sacrifice to place spirits believed tormentors of the sick. All right. Uh, all right, so there you go, man. Why was he? Why was they doing it? Because these, this is the same people, man. These, these are the same people, right? These are the same people. They doing the same customs, all right? Because these are the same people. Because these are, because these, uh, this is a lot. These group of people are the same people. And these are the answer of the so-called Negroes in Americas, man. All right, page seventy-three. All right, seven year Ebo, same book. The Igbo observes uh, Sabbath practice using the, a farmland for six years left following the seven year call aqua, which refer is replenished to the state of rest. All right, you see, right? The replenishing of the land may have outgrown a level of crops which are left for the poor and need us to harvest. All debts also forgiven. The Igbo have rest in days and of the Sabbath, even though they have a four day week. All right. And that was influenced, for, influenced by outside humans, man. All right. The author said in the book, it said a sacred day not only different by town, particularly to a to the deity a personal group was dedicated to these uh deviations and religious practices reflects the prophecy of Deuteronomy 2864 that points out affluence of Israel positive positive. All right. All right, but here right here they observe what the land Shabbat Land Sabbath page 72. <laughs> All right. It says uh 
It says the Igbo have a 13 lunar calendar months in the year. Each of those has significance in its uh, per, uh, prerogative uh, uh, easy and neary to proclaim the beginning of the Igbo lunar year during the annual Igbo oral ceremony. The festival lasts two weeks and 14 days during the period of meaning Igbo people at home or broad covered area that is a near priestly lead dis distributing yam scenes community heads to plants and comers and plant the seeds and also confers the chieftain titles. These are sacrifice and liberation. Also, also you get the scriptures, man. They doing the same things that Israelites like, that the Bible speak of. Why? Because they are the Israelites. All right, because they are the Israelites. Let's go right here. Hold on. So lock on. Let me get this right here. Marriage and festivals. All right, it says right here, Deuteronomy 25 and 10, the Bible states according to the Hebrew culture that a man shall raise the children for his dead brother by marrying the dead brother's wife. Uh, Ekuchi, um, let's see, Ekuchi, Nawanye, and Ebo, and the first, Salaf, I pronounced that wrong, and the first sons she bears should carry on the name of the late brother. If you feel it, recommend that the sister in law shall go up to him, the president of the elders, take off one of his sound and spit in his face. <laughs> All right, it says, raising children for your late brother is a practice in Ebo land. Spitting is an act that expressed disgust, Deuteronomy 25 and 8. In uh, 9, it says, uh, in the evil ways of life, the expression of disgust and outrage come when there's encounter or hearing, seeing, smelling, or feeling what is considered abomination, decoration, taboo, unclean. They often spit in revulsion and discambulation, uh, toothy aqua. However, consent of the brother in law is often gotten, and children are raised for his late brother to ensure his name is not blotted from the land. This tradition points out the pro profound regards of. Uh, Patrol, patrilineal posterity in particular and the value of journey and life contribution to the uh, the greater uh, uh, the greater community man all right so they go to proof man you got married you, you died you got I mean your brother died you gotta you gotta um, marry his wife all right and you gotta pop you gotta pop the woman every two so your brother basically your your brother uh see your Father, your seed could uh, carry on, man. Your brother's name could carry on, man. All right. All right. So let me see right here. Uh, page 27. Uh, right here. It said, Alodo Equino give us insight in the mid 18th century. He was a cyber between 1745 and 1756 when he wrote on page 11 his book. He said, adultery Alba was sometimes punished by slavery or death, a punishment which I believe is inflicted on throughout most of the nations of Africa. So, so sacred among them is the honor of marriage bed. It's so jealous how they felt the fidelity and wives of Exodus 20 and 10. If a man commits adultery with another man's wife, with the wife and neighbor, both adultery and adultery must be put to death. A remarkable parent to the test of unfaithful wife in Numbers 5, 1131. All right. With the evil word for adultery, it states are drinking holy water in a clay jar before the priest who watches curses, who watches curses written on the scroll into the jar while the woman is put on oath to drink that event suspense of death. The evil adultery is called uh, equa eco, which literally means to push the cup. It literally says number five twelve well, made his water bring a curse into your body so that your abdomen swells, your thigh wastes away. <laughs> All right, so there you go, man. All right. It's another is like custom. All right, let me see right here, page 28. All right, it says right here, until the advent of the colonial era in the early 1900s, polygamy was largely accepted in the, in the Igbo. As scripture men note, Jacob and uh, Elkanah, who had only two wives, most Igbo has averaged between three to five, according to G.T. Baston account, but also, uh, let me say, let me see, uh, right, page 28. All right. It says right here, uh, yeah, it says, um, Salak. All right. It's like Kings, uh, reaching up to 20 in a certain rate, and it's a number 200. He explained there are, um, there are monogamy rule. Number of women will remain unmarried, which imposed them to every form of contempt and persecution. In this period, revolution power of Christianity caused many monogamy to be 
tie your practice in evil land but 19 20 today um being single though still stick with taz is daily less as adjectable all right okay it says right here uh it says down here it said marriage and evil societies communal fail apart from the par parents of the prospective couples close relatives clan members and friends of all land support in terms of financial vast race ceremony procedures they are concerned about success, which invite me being success in the entire community. The series of this process underscores in importance. This is Matthew 118. This is how the birth of your house Hamashiach came about. His mother Mary was a pledge to be wrath to be married to Joseph. All right, she was your problem. I mean, she was engaged to Joseph. Well, Joseph was the father of your house All right, it said the price of betrothal is promise or pledge to be married, being engaged of a man to a woman is an age or is like cussing equally. Ebo by culture, all right? This is different from modern day as Nacho families precedes this relation status was exempt from the cons uh, consummation strictly maintained. A man who found a potential wife first obtains consent that's me the family after uh, after also mutually uh, inquiries are made from both sides on the family histories that being the spec department. These inquiries are made because Ebo believes there are uh, Hereditary diseases, generational curses, or behavioral defects that may lurk in certain families in avoidance is important. <laughs> All right, it said there are families where members may die young or lack virtual more or restitution as a result of lacking fear of God. It is forbidden according to customary close rest of Leviticus 18. However, if there's a satisfied outcome, the groom alone will call the family pays three fifths of the bride, the father of a of a, a prospective groom with close relatives on a first visit to the other family with a jar of palm wine. Informs the father his expecting daughter law of his son desire to take the daughter as a wife. Ika Akala Nuzo, Nuzo, I slap if I pronounce that wrong. I said, literally meaning knocking on the door. The host summons the daughter in question, introduce his guest, tells her mission to ask, ask her to send her acceptance or refusal. Um, if she agrees, a public announcement was made, sent to find her engagement or bereft to Yuri. In the accurate custom, Yuri, the man often pays bride price by installment while the girl is a little below marriage age. And the Barab visits the parents of the uh, uh, affiant's husband to acquaint herself with prospective home. Rather, this successful visits are paid, therefore, by the man and his family. And these occasions are lavish for entertainers, entertainers. Palm wine, cola nuts, uh, something food, and tasty drinks are usually served the bride then the bride then pays a three or seven day visit to the home of their attendant husband called um name is called uh Amulu Ana or Ani Anana which the Igbo lyric translate to examine the land. All right, this significant aspect of her betrothal is which she studied the future home under close supervision of her respective mother in law and possibly sister in law. She is not in physical uh, consummation of the spectrum of marriage and returns to her people to report on her experience after which your assessment will continue or not when your union is made. All right, you know, so, hey, oh man, all right, it's uh, it says, no family elder rather educate the couples to be with their own experience, challenge, trials, temptations, how they overcame them, homage them, the dangers of defiant behavior and divorce. Um, okay. All right, so you know, uh, let me see. Uh, all right, it says, um, divorce is never encouraged. Yep, yep, divorce is never encouraged. Well, your house just said you, you say you can't never could divorce your wife, man. All right, all right, it says, uh, it says, divorce is never encouraged and must have serious and very compelling reasons behind it. All right, it's the elders are involved with parents at several, uh, Deputations and consolations are reluctantly made while the bride price is returned before disunion. Bride price or dowry, right, as is 2216, is the, uh, the, uh, pun uh, the punitive marriage ceremony and maybe in forms of, of money and gifts, man. Uh, this comes throughout the scriptures, man. Prove that uh, the, uh, the people are uh, over here in America are their Israelites, man. All right, particularly the uh, so-called Negroes, man. As a matter of fact, it's an article. Hold on, let me get this. I brought out in my other video, man. All right. Uh, 
Let's see. Uh, So this is right here uh, from QZ.com. Right. This thing, come on. This thing frees up on me every time I... It says, uh, why so many African Americans had Nigerian ancestry, right? So-called African It says, uh, during the period of uh, this is bad, uh, you can see the author name right here. All right, this is during the period of the translated slave trade, more than 12.5 million enslaved persons were shipped from Africa to Americas, with about 3.5 million down from Nigeria. Today, there are communities of people, Nigerian ancestors, mostly in Brazil, Cuba, and Jamaica, who have retained some of their ancestors' beliefs and traditions. All right, now watch this. Skip down here. It says the overrepresentation of Nigerian ancestors is said to be a result of intra-American slave trade between British Caribbean and mainland America, which is facts, man. You go to Alabama, uh, Louisiana, we'll say down there, a lot of people, you have uh, Benjamite, you have Levites, all right there. All right, it says previous genetic study has shown that that African Americans, sorry, talking about Judah, in the U.S. had more African ancestors, many years later, ancestors from populations that live near present day Nigeria than from populations that live elsewhere in the Atlantic, Africa, West, and Central Africa. It's an agreement. It is shown in the study that Nigerian as the most common ancestors within the U.S., the French Caribbean, and the British Caribbean. All right. This is despite nearly half the slaves who land in the United States come from. Uh, Senegambia, Gambia, Guyana, Guyana, Bassa, Senegal, West Central Africa, Democratic Republic of uh, Congo, Angola, it could still not remain to half the origins in Ghana, West Ivory Coast. The over representation of Nigerian ancestry reported was found to be a result of later intra American slave trade between the British Caribbean and Maine and the mainland Americas. All right, and, and that's, that's a fact, man. All right, it says the intra American trade. Which was an intercolonial trade involving 11,000 slave voyages within America, stretched as far as Boston to beyond uh, uh, Benares, Benares, all right, also um, the Atlantic and Pacific Liberals. Intro American uh, trade records show that while the translated voyages were going on, slave trade transferred nearly 500,000 slaves throughout America, with, with most intro American voyages originate in the Caribbean, man. All right. The, though the British outlawed the slave trade in 1807 and started intercity slave ship, the intro American slave trade continued. The intro American slave trade voyages on the record sailed until 1840 as their slave trade continued in the U.S. between the Spanish Caribbean colonies, man. All right. So that's why you have people like, um, and I count on um, this, this um, elder's name is, uh, we call him Pops, man. All right. Caparia. All right. He's a Benjamite, man. He is a, a Benjamite, right? So his family most likely resulted in this man that, through that intra, uh, um, that um, intra American slave trade, man. All right. All right. So it's right here, man, showing that the, the Igbo is like majority of so called Negro in America of Igbo descent. I'll say come from the, the Shante, the Fonte, the Khan people, which, which are which our Israelites. All right, their customs. All right, so you know what usually a a uh, one of the rabbis they always what they always say, man. All right, if you if you have a history of doing no customs, man, they always say what well, you're, you're Israelites, man. All right, <clears throat> so um, let's see what, what page is that. All right, so it's page twenty-two. All right, it says ancient. Um, it says right here. 
Ancient Israelite units are measured despite its dwindling use since the colonial advent are still modification in areas building. Construction trade in some evil villages hand breadth between the index finger thumb about 2.5 to 4 inches. Span between the small finger thumb about 6 inches. Cubit from the tip of the middle finger down from the elbow between 17 and 21 inches. And bushel 8 gallons had endured for centuries. The scripture supports. And here go another thing. Point out that Israel. The scripture supports the organized welfare system for Levites. Numbers. 1823, 29, Deuteronomy 14, 22, 29, poor and needy, the widow, orphan, fatherless, 26, Deuteronomy 26 and 12. All right. The Israelites use their ties yearly for those helpless, hungry, and poor. This is designed to prevent the nation from sinking under severe property and oppression. It is therefore everyone's responsibility to take to take care of those less fortunate. The Ebor had a practice setting aside a certain percentage of the annual income. For family fund was supported any any who was needy. This practice called Iberuru was a form of tithing that kept away destitution. All right, and to all you damn scoffers, man, you like to say, oh, uh, uh, we don't post to take tithes and this and that, man. All right, you have brothers, man, especially during these days, man. All right, that's that's in need, man. All right. This is what the reason we ta we uh in, in the camp tabs man tabs on uh treasuries man all right it's it's it says right there, as the tithe reflect the honor Yahweh had given to the Levites the priests for sacrifice at, at the Lord's service so also was done for the elders and priests as expression of respect appreciation gratitude in evil land while the men may bring fruits and livestock the women also often bring cooked food in their practice referred to as chi na agu meaning deity wings mercifully mercifully man all right all right all right so this is similar to israel man all right what ancient israelites did man all right and this way uh uh because when the uh Moreno Jews, the Moriscos, the Moreno Jews, Safari Jews, Portuguese Jews that came over here. That's why they intermarried with these, man, because they are the same damn people, man. This is from the book on um, Black Zion, all right? This is uh, page, uh, yeah, I believe 22. I'm going to go skip down. It's an earlier 17th century example. Safari Jews from Spain, Portugal, Netherlands had. Found settlements in northern regions of Latin America, Central America, and the Caribbean. Intermarriage between dis diaspora Jews and black Jews and free persons was not uncommon. In the era, out of the unions emerged some of the first African American converts to Jews in the West Hemisphere, right? But this, but like I said, they're not converts. These are Israelites. All right. They had no real reason to convert, man. All right. They were just going back to the law, statutes, and commandments. They forefathers, or they had a better understanding from their brethren from uh, Spain to Portugal, man. All right, because they knew it the same people, man. Because guess what? During those days, you going to you can't tell me that um, um, that our people from Spain, Poor was was ignorant of the people in West Africa, man. They knew where they were. They have they had uh, colonies there. They had settlements there, man. They had trading posts there, man. All right, they talk and interact to people, man. They see what their custom was about, man. All right, so they had it was no qualms of of. Uh, of uh, Jews from Spain to Portugal to mix with the with the, the people from West Africa, the people in West Africa, the Igbo, the Shante, the Fonte, the Fulani, all right, the 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 uh, UA, UA, UA people, evil, evil, how do I pronounce it? UA, is it UA, UA, it's spelled uh, E W E, all right, and etc. Et all right, even the, the Moors, man, all right, because these these were the same. Damn people, man. All right. So the so-called Negroes, so-called West Indians, so-called Haitians are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. All right. So I hope you've been edified. All right. And um, Shalom.